Now you might know that moving a magnet can induce a current in a loop of wire, but here's another experiment. Imagine you have a completely stationary magnet and two conducting rails connected at one end. Now I will simply move one wire and what? So magnets are weird, but in a very specific way. This way. Now you may be thinking, this is maths, where are the numbers, or how do you multiply by a triangle, but I promise it's not as bad as it looks. Okay, step one, ignore all this. Step two, we've got E for Emily, the electric field, and B for Barry, the magnetic field. These represent spaces of little arrows, which we use along with this here equation to find forces on charged particles. So Emily might tell you to go this way, and Barry will first point in the direction of your velocity, then curl his fingers towards his own arrow, and then tell you to move in the direction of his thumb. Then, since you're negatively charged, you'll go in the exact opposite direction. Step three, the silly looking triangle multiplication means curl. So if the curl of the Barry field is this, then we use our right hand like this to show that the Barry's curl around this point anti-clockwise. Now these ones are about how Barry and Emily change. So if Barry does this, then this term will be the vector describing that change. J is for current and these are just numbers. Experiment time. We move our wire sideways. Barry is pointing this way, then sees the electrons in the wire moving. He points in the direction they're moving, curls towards his own arrow, and bam, a current starts flowing. This current came from Barry, so we call it motional EMF. What about our regular magnet coil? Well, as the magnet gets nearer, Barry increases in the coil. We know that Emily curls when Barry changes, and Barry is pointing more and more upward. So we flip the change vector around and use the right hand rule to see Emily's curl. The electrons aren't moving, so Barry can't do anything, but Emily can. So the electrons feel a force, and once again we create current this time from Emily. We call this induced EMF. In practice, we usually find the EMF by thinking about the change in total barriness in the loop, called magnetic flux, which you can see changes the exact same way in both of our examples. The strange way that Barry and Emily do the same thing in different ways was pointed out by Einstein in the first paragraph of his first paper on special relativity. Anyway, see ya.